Hi there, my name is Alana and you could say I have a bit of an obsession with Charlotte Tilbury. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of her latest launches. This is something we haven't really seen before from Charlotte. These are some single eyeshadows. I have two shades from her brand new Hypnotizing Pop Shot collection. These are available as part of the Holiday 2022 collection. So I'm not sure if these are going to be permanent or limited edition. But what I will say is when Charlotte has limited edition holiday products, they either sell out like that, I'm thinking of Fire Rose, or or they are around for years and years later like many of her 12 pan palettes but in today's video we are going to be testing out two of the shadows so I purchased smoky quartz and diamond eyes two very pretty neutral wearable shades of course I am wearing one of them right now so in this video we're going to try them both out with two different application methods we're going to try them both out as single sort of one and done shadows and then I'm going to share with you my favorite way to wear the eyeshadow which as probably surprised nobody is the way I'm wearing it right now paired up with some other shadows in the collection. And do we have comparison swatches? I have an arm, can I do this? There we go. I have an arm full of swatches, different eyeshadows from my extensive Charlotte Tilbury collection. By the way, I have nearly 60, it might be more than 60, I have nearly 60, we're gonna say that, videos dedicated to Charlotte Tilbury here on my channel. I'm gonna leave that playlist link down below if you wanna search through it. If you have a question about Charlotte Tilbury, I've, I've probably already answered it. And if I haven't answered it, it's probably in my list of videos that I'll be posting in time for Vlogmas. So with that in mind, I'm going to clean all this sparkly eyeshadow off my arm and let's get into it. Okay, so we're first gonna be trying out Diamond Eyes and I'm going to be trying it as a one and done shadow. This is my first time using this formula and I'm really excited. So we're gonna start by just using a Sonia G Worker 2 brush, just on the lid and kind of blending it up. Okay, so that is really soft. Let's try using the finger. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, this is how you're gonna wanna apply it. Wow, okay. Okay, that, that is what I was expecting. Okay, so I'm just going to use a shader brush just to sort of blend out those edges. So on this eye, I applied it with my finger and on this eye, I applied it with a brush. I'm gonna even out the side by adding it with my finger. Okay, I'm going to add some mascara and eyeliner and I'll show you the final result. Okay, and here we have the completed look with some mascara. So again, while I originally applied it with a brush, I found that applying it with my finger just gave it just that pop. And to be honest, that is what I expected, but seeing the difference on my eye between the finger and the brush application, wow. Okay, so that is it for trying on diamond eyes and the next clip we are going to try on smoky quartz. It is the next day. Today I'm going to be wearing smoky quartz and I'm going to be testing it out as a one and done shadow to wear to sort of a work lunch. So I know it has some shimmer, but I think we're going to be able to make this work. So I'm going to start once again. I just want to showcase how differently it looks with a finger application versus a brush. So this is the brush application. This is really reminding me of Marie Antoinette slash Oyster Pearl from Charlotte's Cream Shadows. But just in a powder version. Just gonna give it a little bit of a blend. Okay, so on this eye we have it applied with the brush, and on this eye we have it applied with the finger. And again, as you can see, it's so much more of a pop when we do the finger application. So I'm just gonna even these out and add some mascara, eyeliner, and lipstick, and I'll show you the completed look. I have to say, now that we have it evened out, I think it is a very flattering one and done shadow, which on one hand doesn't surprise me because Oyster Pearl, previously known as Marie Antoinette, um, really reminds me a lot of the shade, just in more of a cream version. But there's still one more way I wanna try these eyeshadows. I wanna try these eyeshadows the way we try a pop formula in Charlotte's quads. And finally, I'm going to be showing you my favorite way to use the hypnotizing pop shot. Pop shot. I almost said that just, that just sounds odd. I mean, it, it just it doesn't sound like a Charlotte Tilbury name. Like the hypnotizing, yes, but the pop shot. Anyways, we're going to be using the hypnotizing pop shot in my favorite way. So I've done a very basic sort of eyeshadow base. I've gone in with a sophisticate, which is a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad that's all matte, doesn't have any shimmers. I thought it would be the perfect palette to pair with smoky quartz. So we've already tested it out. We know that the finger is the best way to apply it. So I'm going to apply it as if this was almost a fifth shadow in the quad. 
And I really do think that this is the best way to use these shadows. Not as one and done, but more as complementing a look that you already have. I've experimented around with, you know, just kind of using this generally in different eyeshadows, but I haven't tried it with this one. And I gotta say, the Sophisticate is not a palette I reach for very often because I do really like having that shimmer on my eye. But this just feels like it was made for it. It's almost a little bit like a blue shift. I'm not saying it's a duochrome, but wow. And with this baby blue shirt, I wasn't expecting it to be this perfect. Oh my gosh, okay. One problem, I now have this eyeshadow all over my finger. Um, that's okay. Yeah, wow. Okay, this is really, really pretty. Let's add some eyeshadow and mascara and then I'll show you the final look. And here we have it, our final look using these new pop eyeshadows, my absolute favorite way, pairing them up with other shadows to really just bring the entire look to life. So as you can see, I have a ton of swatches here. Um, not all these swatches are meant to be shade matches, but I really wanted to demonstrate formula. So here we have Diamond Eyes, which is one of the new shadows I'm featuring in this video. Then we have the Pop Shade in Fire Rose, which I think is probably one of the most popular eyeshadow Charlotte has ever made, completely sold out. So I'm always looking for what is the closest dupe to the shadow and formula-wise, twins. Not color-wise, but formula-wise for sure. From last holiday collection, we have the Enhanced Shade from Cosmic Pearl. Then we have Smoky Quartz, which is one of the shadows we're featuring today. Now I've compared it often in this video, or will compare it often in this video, to Marie Antoinette, which is now known as Oyster Pearl. And I think those two colors are a really good match for each other. Definitely more sparkle in the Smoky Quartz, and a little bit more of a purple in the, the taupiness, rather than um, a little bit more of a, almost a bronze in uh, Oyster Pearl. Next we have the new Exaggerize Eyes to Mesmerize. And as you can see, relatively equal when it comes to sparkle, but different colors. Now from Cosmic Pearl, we have the Smoke Shade. This is a bit of a duochrome, sort of a purple, green, and blue going on there. And next we get into these last three shimmery shades. Here we have from the shades from the Luxury Palette of Pops in Celestial Eyes. This is a quad of all pop shadows, and while it's not as bad as the old formula, it's nowhere near the new formula, so I wouldn't recommend purchasing this, given that these exist on the market. Next up over here, we have the pop shade from the Pillow Talk Dreams palette, and I will say again, this formula, very much on par. Um, a little bit more sparkly, a little bit more kind of pop going on in these single pop shadows, but a very similar formula to the Pillow Talk Dreams, in my opinion. And finally, for one of our older formulas, but a favorite, we have the Exaggerized Pop Shade. And as you can see, it's just not as flaky, not as textured, not as metallic, still very pretty. Uh, this is one of the better old formulas, but generally speaking, I don't like the old formula pop shadows. So these over here, I guess, there we go. These are a market improvement. Okay, so we have the final look and it is, it is really, really pretty, okay? I'm gonna take one more look at it. I mean, look, it has, especially, especially the smoky quartz, has a beautiful reflect, a beautiful shimmer. I can already see how I'd like to wear this or the kind of the gold shade that I purchased. I can already imagine how I wanna wear those to upcoming Christmas parties. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful. There's only, and look, if we, if we are only, if we only look at a product in the sense of is it nice or not, yeah, it's stunning. But I think the real question we have to ask ourselves is, is it worth the money? Because these eyeshadows retail for 41 Canadian dollars for a single eyeshadow. For context, her quads are 66 Canadian dollars, paying basically two thirds of the price of one of her quads to get a single shadow. Now, in, hear me up. In Charlotte's defense, these eyeshadows are 10 grams, but who needs 10 grams of a single like pop eyeshadow? I think this is a kind of product where I would be very happy to have half as much eyeshadow at half the price. You know, if these were like, or even like half as much eyeshadow at say two thirds of the price. If these were coming in around say 29, 30 Canadian dollars, I probably would have bought three or four of them. But at 
41 Canadian dollars, I had to be picky and choosy. Now for context, these actually cost more than her cream shadows. So her cream shadows have 10 milligrams and they retail for $39. So these shadows are available in seven shades and we have the classic range of Charlotte Tilbury neutrals, you know, there's a beautiful rose gold, there's a gold, there's the kind of the, like this oyster pearl shade, the smoky quartz, which I purchased, but there's also a striking emerald green and a duochrome blue. Now, on the Canadian website at time of filming, so right now it is 10, 10 14 p.m. on Thursday, October 6th, so hopefully this video will be up tomorrow. Um, at the time of filming, the blue one is sold out. Now, part of me wonders, did she order equal quantities of all of these shadows and then the blue one was just by and large more popular? I mean, look, it's a blue duochrome. That's not something we typically see from Charlotte. The other part of me says that Charlotte probably knows her audience very well. She knows that Pillow Talk, Dusty Pink Neutrals, they sell, that's her audience. And so the other part of me says, did she just purchase way more quantities of those, which is honestly probably what probably what happened. Um, but the blue is sold out, so I find that very just, just noteworthy. It's just, it's just noteworthy. So the biggest question I had when I saw this launch is, is this the formula we all fell in love with with Fire Rose? And I think it is. When Charlotte Tilbury released the Fire Rose palette, it sold out like with, I mean, not within minutes, but it sold out very quickly. And by the time people are starting to hype it up and people are saying, oh, I think I need this palette, it was sold out, it was never brought back. Which by the way, people people are like begged her to bring it back. So to me, this is that same formula. It's that same pop formula that we've seen in the Pillow Talk Dreams palette, which overall is so much better than the original pop formula she had a couple of years ago. The original pop formula was basically just sparkles, just like, you know, kind of not really all that pigmented sparkles, but these, these have texture, they have shimmer, they blend out. They're really, really stunning. And I have to say that while I do like diamond eyes, smoky quartz has really blown me away. Here I'd say, I don't think that these eyeshadows are intended for everyday wear, but I do think that they can take an everyday eyeshadow look and just bring it to that next level. So as we head into holiday season and the time of sparkles and parties, I think having one of these in your collection would be a lot of fun. So I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below if you are planning on picking up any of these eyeshadows, if they've caught your eye, or if the $41 price tag has you just kind of saying, maybe not. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you love Charlotte Tilbury and you're looking for makeup, lifestyle reviews, all of that good stuff, then definitely subscribe because I'm so excited about the content I have as we head into the holidays. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.